Hi, I want to show you guys how to make a fence, or at least how I made a fence. Um, first I did a lot of thought and planning on it. Um, decided that I didn't want to do a traditional fence like of wood or vinyl. I wanted to make something a little more durable and <laughs> withstanding. And so I uh, decided to go with concrete. And with this concrete I, I made my own forms and I made my own uh, my own concrete out of pre-mixed concrete and um, I used an integral color meaning the color is inside the concrete uh, you color the concrete as you pour it and um, I was limited I only made enough forms to do a few pieces at a time so I wasn't able to call a concrete truck in and and pour all this all at once in fact this whole project took me about three years from start to finish of just the parts uh, not even putting it together because I only had three forms for the slabs, I had uh, two forms for the posts. And um, I'll get into more detail on all that as the video goes here. It actually turns into pictures. They turned out better in the video. I didn't have much video uh, at all that I made. This is just a finished product. But uh, I started with the forms and I, I went through a trial period. Um, had to try a few things to make sure that this was even going to work. Um, Put some accent lighting in there by the time it was finished and uh, some electricity out there I can plug into it and there's outlets in there along the driveway there which is kind of nice and it's 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 a nice lighted driveway it gives some some mood lighting to it and this is just standard 5,000 psi concrete um, I had to go through a trial and error basis and figure out what would work and what wouldn't now these lights, they're on a dust to dawn, so when it gets dark out, they turn on automatically. And there's a motion sensor on there, so they're at a, a dim lighting until there's movement, and then they pop on bright when it senses motion, and then they, they turn off when it gets light out again. Um, just some close-up videos or pictures trying to show some of the detail of the finished product there as it went. This is where I started. Um, I, I thought maybe two colors. I didn't know what I was going to do for sure. And this is one of the forms that I made. And uh, just I used LP siding, which has a wood grain texture to it. I put some of the concrete in there, uh, just a random pattern, trying to see what that would turn out to be like. And just filled that, that form up. And you can see the, the color and the, the texture. It didn't turn out too bad. Uh, the wood grains in there there's a few pitting and spots like that air gaps in there so I kind of had to figure out how to clean all that up uh, with what I had to work with um, so I, I spiked the regular 5000 psi bag with a little bit of extra Portland and I put some uh, silica sand in there and uh, to give a little finer texture and a little bit more strength and when I was done that panel was so hard that I could uh, shake it back and forth and it never did crack or break on me. I had no rebar in that original one at all. And these, this here is the, the forms for the posts. And you can see I have some conduit in there to hold the light and, and uh, all that. And I put a indention in there for some more wood grain just to break up the colors and such a little bit. And uh, those posts are 11 feet long, 12 inches wide, about 6 inches thick. And those panels slide down into the grooves and a pretty simple design you just slide down in there and um, the electricity runs from one post to the other and the way it all hooks up that part worked out pretty good uh, yeah I used silicone that helped the, the concrete from sticking gave a nice round edge and uh, you could use any color silicone I just use bronze there's a picture of the, the slab itself, some rebar that was in there. I also put rebar in the posts, and at the top of the post that rebar is bent over so you can grab onto the top of the post with a chain, which I used a forklift to put these into place. These posts, when they're done, they weigh about 900, 950 pounds, you know, full of solid concrete like that. And I didn't use an integral color throughout the whole post the bottom of it that was going to be buried down in the ground about four feet I didn't put any colored concrete in there and uh, I tried to put some accenting 
Uh, that board that's laying on top of the post just gives it a nice little accent on the top or on the back side of it. I start with the brown color, the wood grain colored look, then I just fill in the rest with the black concrete. Just fill it all in. This is a picture of one of the actual slabs. There's some rebar wire in there. And uh, just set all that down in there. Those slabs weigh about 200, maybe 220 pounds. And this is uh, the posts after they come out of the form. I let everything sit about a week. Uh, give it some good strength before I pull the forms off. And that those white spots, that's just a release from the siding that I use to help part of the form. Um, there's some effervescence on there too, the white the white color. I just used a, a mild uh, muriatic acid wash and uh, par washed them and all that cleaned up real nice. And after all those parts and pieces were done, um, I put uh, Deco Shine on there, which is a solvent based uh, sealer. And uh, it, it's a gloss look as well, but that really deepens and richens the color of the concrete once it's cured. And that uh, just brings out the beauty of the colors and the texture and everything. Um, went through a lot of bags of concrete. Um, didn't have too many failures. In fact, I think I only had two failures that I weren't able to use. That's just a picture. You always want to locate where your power lines are before you start to dig holes. That's a picture of the posts uh, just after simply cleaning them. They're not uh, any deco shine or anything on there yet. That's just the cleaned post. And I'd make a few posts. I didn't put this fence together before I had everything made. Um, a few pieces here and there. Um, so it took about three years to get all those posts done as I was digging holes or tree roots in there. And I uh, had some help along the way, but a few bags of concrete. And, and uh, pretty soon I had enough parts and pieces to put this together. But there's, there's a few. Um, most of the posts, a few of the panels. Those panels, I let everything sit for about a week before I pull them out of the form, let that concrete get somewhat hard. Um, between the panels, there's, those panels are, are right at eight feet long and uh, two feet high, inch and a half thick. They weigh 220 pounds or so. On top, I put a bead of polyurethane. Um, that was to be used as a gasket between each for any imperfections. Um, so there weren't any air gaps or light peeking through. And here's a, a, the initial of putting in a few posts. I put three posts in and then slid those panels. Up until here, I didn't know if this was going to work at all, but boy, they slid down in there so nice. Um, I cleaned everything up, put the deco shine on there as a finished product. It looked good. Then I went ahead and moved forward. This, this fence is about 64 feet long. Um, so I... After all this work and effort, uh, until I had that done, I didn't know it was going to work for sure or not. Um, built some pretty big holes. I wanted to tap the ground in around those posts nice and hard, uh, make sure they stayed plumb you know, over time. That hole stood for about a week before I put anybody in there, make sure it wasn't going to cave in. Um, an initial picture after everything was put together. I didn't have the tops yet figured out, didn't even know what I was going to do there yet for the top of the fence but at least it was for the most part up got the electricity and everything hooked up the conduit running back and forth there's a T here that runs back to the house that's where I plugged everything in um, brought power out there uh, for the lighting and then once all this was done and cleaned up and, and looking good I went and tried to figure out if I was on the top going to do a, a arch or um, some sort of a peak or something like that decided to just do a, a gable end peak as, as is seen in the, the pictures um, made a cap uh, for those posts those those post caps I just took some lumber and uh, a router and uh, made some forms and made the, the post caps to go on there again with an integral color um, to tap off the whole thing but this was just done out of concrete um, all by hand, mixed by hand, five gallon buckets and such. There's a indentation in those posts for that loop at the top of the rebar where I grabbed onto them. Um, this fence has been sitting there for about three years now. It's been up and uh, hasn't moved. It hasn't cracked. Uh, it looks as good as the day that I started making it. 
uh, very happy with that and the color retention hasn't faded I haven't had to do anything but power wash it just to clean it once in a while um, so I'm really happy about that any other fence a wood fence um, would have took maintenance you know staining and so forth uh, definitely in my opinion better looking than a, a chain link fence or any type of vinyl fence that you could buy and the maintenance free part is just really you know it's something I was attracted to it's going to look good for a long time stand there windstorm isn't going to take it um, it's been a very nice looking fence I had a lot of comments on it people drive by riding their bike they stop and ask uh, when you tell them it's made out of wood they they don't believe it till they go and knock on it it's just solid concrete it's like a rock uh, it's hard to believe that until you actually go up there and and, and touch it and feel it um, had a lot of compliments I wanted to share this as an experience that I I dreamt of and uh, went ahead and moved forward with and tried seemed to be a success I checked with the city and local codes they said I was all good with the project and uh, gave me the go-ahead before I even started anything um, maybe someone else out there wants to try something like this uh, I, I feel it was a worthwhile project and I would encourage other people to try such things um, as long as everything's safe and you know it's not going to topple over and hurt anybody um, it, it was a good a good idea a good project to give, get started and do I hope it'll inspire someone to to give it a whirl uh, on their own ideas and inspirations uh, at the end of the video there's a few pictures of the back side which uh, turned out quite nice as well um, doesn't have all the lighting and everything on the front side does but uh, thanks for watching hope this uh, inspires someone to try something new and different play safe and and have fun thanks for your time